Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today we're going to take a look at four different kinds of artist ink pens. Uh, two of them are from the manufacturer Copic, a Japanese manufacturer. Uh, the Stedler here is manufactured in Germany. And um, the other three here, the graphic uh, line makers, are a new pen recently introduced by Derwent. And these are made partially in China, but the nibs or the, or the tips are made in Japan. So we're going to give all four of these different pens, uh, pen types uh, manufactured, a try today and see how they come out. The multi-liner, this is a Copic multi-liner made in Japan um, from the two line, T-O-O, -O, and um, that Copic multi-liner right there the one I just had in my hand, that one is a little bit different from the Copic Multiliner SP edition, which is this aluminum bodied uh, pen here. It's, I think, got a similar nib, although the pens do perform a bit differently, and we'll get into that and the detail around that in, in just a moment here as we take a look at these four different types of artist ink pens. Okay, so the first pen we're going to test here is the Stettler made in Germany. This is from the Lumicolor line, and it's a fine. And you can see the ink flows quite nicely. There aren't a lot of gaps um, in terms of the paper if you, if you go fast, although there is a few. It's not too noticeable. Uh, but if you set the pen down on the paper for any length of time and you touch the tip to the, tip to the paper, you'll get, it'll pool. The ink will soak into the paper and pool, and you'll get kind of an expanding uh, pool of black. And there's a little bit of a scratchy feel um, um, to the pen as you write. But like I said, it's got a little scratchy feel to it. All right, the next one we're going to take a look at is the Derwent uh, Graphic Line Maker. And this is a, a .8 millimeter that in the black color and I'll start with that. I noticed right away the skipping and the hatching there. As I hatched you could see it was skipping and I wasn't going that fast so I'd say the ink flow not as good in that black, uh, the heavier black marker, but in the finer tip, the 0.5 uh, millimeter tip, the I should say 0.5 tip, uh, the and the sepia and the gray, the ink flow was much better, and I had not as much um, scratching or skipping. And the next one we're going to try is the Copic uh, multi liner pen, not the SP, not the aluminum body pen, but these right here. I've got a black, a sepia, and a purple that we'll try here. Okay, the first thing you notice about these multi-liners after using the Derwents is there's no scratchy feeling and no skipping on the paper. And this is basically standard sketchbook paper, so it's not like it has a lot of, uh, you know, grain. it's not grainy, it's not, uh, you know, rough. So I just like uh, on these Copic multi-liners, the way the ink flows out of the pen, it's really smooth and... Uh, you get nice lines with these and um, yet yeah, no skipping. So that, you know, I like that good smooth flow when you're, when you're doing line work or basically any kind of artwork with the pen. It just really came out nicely. And I think um, so far uh, this one's worked out the best out of the three I've tested so far. Next is the Aluminum Bodied Multiliner SP, which is my go-to uh, pen and the one I tend to use a lot uh, when I'm doing ink work. It works really nice uh, for the most part, although I draw a little slower um, and I do my line work a little slower and I notice when I do it faster here I get a little skipping and um, and like it took us an instant or two for the ink to get flowing. And Once it's flowing in the pen it tends to work pretty good. So you can see my notes here that the these have the really they're a tough pen, pretty rugged, and the nibs are tough. You can't hardly 
press them out of shape, although I have managed to do that from pressing too hard. It's got that aluminum body, but the inconsistent flow uh, is a concern with these. And I just, uh, you know, for the money you spend on this aluminum body pen, it should be pretty good. So let's just do a little side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to draw fairly quickly, um, you know, because I want to get it to see if the ink flow is there. And you can see on the Copic Multiliner SP here, there's some skipping. So the ink, essentially what that means is the ink is not flowing to the bottom as quickly as I'd like it to. So there you can see with the others, with the Copic Multiliner, really good. The Derwent, not so much. And the Stedler didn't do too bad. So out of the four I tried, I'd say the Copic Multiliner, plus you're getting some bleed through. That's right. Yeah, if you look, the, the Stedler will give you some bleed through, whereas the other three don't. But of the ones I, I tried out, the Copic Multiliner uh, performed the best. So I'd say that one, I'll circle it here, and we'll call it a winner. And uh, that's the pen I'd recommend, which is surprising for me since I usually use the SP. Well, if you haven't had a chance, please uh, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave notes, questions, and what have you. I always appreciate getting those. All right, thanks for now, and so long, everybody.